Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome back to our channel UG Mold Tech. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of plastic part design to explore a concept that plays a crucial role in manufacturing, undercuts. Have you ever wondered what undercuts are and how they impact the design and functionality of plastic parts? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll demystify undercuts and provide you with a comprehensive understanding of this essential element in plastic part design. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update on the latest industry insights, tips, and tutorials. So, what exactly is an undercut in plastic parts? Let's find out. What is undercut in plastic parts? An undercut in plastic parts refers to a feature that prevents the part from being easily removed from the mold. It's a design element that adds complexity but also functionality to the part. These features can be indentations, protrusions, or recesses that make it challenging to release the part from the mold cavity without causing damage. We always try to avoid undercut in design. This can be a challenging aspect in designing plastic parts, as it can affect the moldability and overall production cost. Undercuts are commonly found in designs with complex shapes or intricate details. To accommodate undercuts, special mold designs such as side actions or lifters are often used to create the desired part. These additional features in the mold allow for the part to be ejected without damaging the mold or the part itself. Understanding undercuts in plastic parts is crucial for designers and manufacturers to ensure successful production. Friends next point in undercut features in plastic part is Types of undercut in plastics part Undercut can usually be divided into two categories. One, is internal undercut. And two, is external undercut. Internal undercut, an internal feature that extends below the parting line, creating a recessed area within the part. Internal undercuts are often used for locking mechanisms, snap fits, or intricate details. Friends next point in undercut in mold, is. Two, external undercut. An external feature that extends beyond the parting line, creating a protrusion or overhang on the part surface. External undercuts can add complexity and functionality to the design, such as decorative elements or ergonomic grips. Friends next point in undercuts injection molding is. Why undercuts are used in injection molding? Or effective uses of undercuts injection in molding. 1. Creating special designs for your hardware. Some parts have special designs that you can't create simply by using regular cuts. Thus, you will need to apply undercuts to follow those special designs, so that you can create the correct hardware body, sizes, and dimensions. 2. Connecting other parts via the undercut holes. Another effective use of undercuts is that it will allow you to connect to other parts via the undercut holes you have made. This way, you can assemble the final product by building the smaller parts through these connecting holes. You can only create these holes by using undercuts, not regular cuts. 3. Using the king mechanism. There are various hardware parts that require the use of interlocking mechanisms across a wide range of industries, such as in the automotive and medical industries. It will allow you to snap the hardware component to another component and lock them together for them to work. This is another effective use of undercuts, which will allow you to create the interlocking mechanism in various hardware parts. 4. Creating vertical threading for parts and components. Vertical threading is a common aspect of any product assembly process, whereby you use the vertical threads to hook up connectors, components, and other smaller parts together. Like undercut holes, vertical threads can only be applied via undercuts, so you can't do it any other way. Friends next point in what is undercut in mold design is. Different mechanism behind undercut, to accommodate undercuts, special mold designs such as side actions or lifters are often used to create the desired part. These additional features in the mold allow for the part to be ejected without damaging the mold or the part itself. You can see the different core intersert sliders and lifter. Friends next point in external undercut in mold is. How to avoid undercut in injection molding? A lot of manufacturers tend to avoid the undercut in plastic design and undercut molding. To avoid these undercuts in injection molding, one must care fill before finalize the shape. Here are some of the points. 1. Move the parting lines. Parting lines is the line that divides the mold into two halves and separates the functionality by changing direction and instructing the place. These parting lines are molded together to intersect distinct features. 
However, there are certain factors, such as material flow, geometry, and others, that influence the intersection of the parting lines. 2. Shutoffs. Shutoffs offer another avenue to manage undercuts. By bringing surfaces in the mold together to create a seal, shutoffs prevent plastic from flowing into specific areas, allowing for the creation of cavities and grooves without necessitating complex mold designs. This method has been shown to result in a 20% reduction in mold complexity, streamlining the production process and reducing costs. 3. Sliding side actions. For external undercuts, side actions are the go-to solution. These movable mold sections are indispensable for molding parts with complex external geometries, commonly found in high-precision industries such as medical device manufacturing. Utilizing side actions not only ensures the molding of parts with intricate details and shapes but old complexity when compared to conventional methods. Bump-offs. Bump-offs use the natural stretchiness of plastic to make it easier to mold parts with tricky internal angles. This method is super handy for internal undercuts because you don't have to use complex mold designs. In fact, bump-offs can make mold designs simpler by up to a quarter, which is an excellent choice for parts with inner shapes. As we wrap up our exploration of undercuts in plastic parts, we hope you've gained a deeper understanding of this essential design element and its impact on product development. Whether you are a designer, engineer, or simply curious about the world of plastic part manufacturing, undercuts play a significant role in shaping the products we use every day. Friends if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more informative content coming your way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.